every step of your life forms a unique story which brings you experiences, joy, challenges, and memories to cherish. So we welcome you all to a new beginning of your life. A very good morning to one and all present here. I am Swati Upadhyay, a third year law student at Trinity Institute of Professional Studies. Hope you all are safe and doing well. We heartily welcome the new batch of 2020 to this virtual orientation day program. I would also like to welcome Dr. R.K. Tandon, Chairman, Tips Dwarka, Mrs. Reema Tandon, Vice Chairperson, Tips Dwarka, Professor Dr. Barka Behel, Director Tips. <laughs> Professor Dr. H.P. Garp, Director General Tips. Dr. Shashi Bala, Head of Department Law Tips, and our guest of honor, Mr. Raghav Sabarwal, Assistant Advocate General, Supreme Court of India. I would further like to welcome all the respected faculty members and the students. As we all know that nowadays, staying at home is our priority, and definitely we all miss going out. But in this situation, since technologies have taken place nearest to us, we all are adapting in a digital world as a new normal. So adapting with the new times, we welcome our batch 2020 to this virtual orientation day. We hope you guys are going to have digitally a good time in creating a connection with us. Shubham Karoti, Kalyana, Arogyam, Dhansam, Salutation to the light of lamp brings auspiciousness, destroys enmical feelings. Let us start our day with lightning of the lamp, followed by Saraswati Vandana.
Rama for such a blissful performance. Now, I would like to request Professor Dr. Barkha Behel, Director Tips, to please present her views. Happy New Year and greetings to all of our distinguished guests, Mr. Kapil Bhatija, Mr. Abbas Hather, Mr. Raghav Sabarwal, Mr. Rohit Agarwal, Honorable Chairman Dr. R.K. Tandon, Vice Chairperson Ms. Reema Tandon, Director General Dr. H.P. Gurd, all my colleagues and dear students. On behalf of Trinity Institute of Professional Studies Fraternity, I extend a very warm and cordial welcome to all the new entrants. Anyone who stops learning is an old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. The greatest thing in life is to keep your mind young and we at Trinity Institute of Professional Studies tremendously believe in this philosophy and hence provide our students an opportunity to learn at every juncture and help in developing a passion for learning so that they never cease to grow. It is a matter of pride and immense pleasure to welcome new students choosing the, this college for their higher education in various programs. It is my pleasure to introduce to all the students about the academic and overall activities being adopted at the Institute. Trinity Institute of Professional Studies is a NAC accredited A plus ranked institute by SFRC established in the year 2007 and is one of the top affiliate of Guru Gobind Singh Indraprastha University. We at TIPS develop a brand of committed people who are geared up to take any professional and personal challenge and achieve it with conviction. The essence of education imparted at the institute is to infuse a sense of commitment and hard work in the minds of the students. We seek to open the frontiers of knowledge and reveal new horizons of change to broaden the mindsets and to create positive attitudes in our students. We achieve this through our vision, which states that we endeavor to be a globally known by adopting innovative pedagogies in all the disciplines like management and commerce, computer applications, journalism and mass communication, and law. We strive to work hard with the mission of ensuring that the course material in all the essential subjects is always passed on to the students via basket of pedagogies that are ultra modern and innovative so that the teaching learning process remains not only smoother but also engrossing the real life situation, cases and problems. Supplementing classroom instructions by undertaking all such activities which may aid in all-round development of personalities of the students, enabling them to emerge out products with appropriate mix of knowledge, skills, attitudes and values. As a result, we have excelled both at the academics and the placement front. This effort of ours is accomplished through a committed faculty which acts as a guiding force and help the students in their professional academic pursuits. You will be glad to know that last year BGMC University toppers belong to our very own institute and one of you could be the next one. Apart from this, there are plethora of committees, societies and clubs at the institute which provide 
an excellent platform to the students to explore their hidden talent and groom their overall personality. I would suggest that you all to be part of these committees and clubs to excel in curricular, co-curricular and extracurricular activities and to take it further and bring laurels for the institute and for your own self. Till date, our drama, dance, theatre, etc. societies have been bringing awards and accolades at university, state and national levels and we expect the same from you all. With this brief introduction, I expect that in the times to come, our students will, would be our torch bearers eliminating the entire globe with their knowledge, deeds, attitudes, commitment and thus would be serving the society as a responsible human being. At the end, I would like to express my gratitude to all the dignitaries Mr. Kapil, Mr. Abbas, Mr. Raghav and Mr. Rohit for their valuable and thought-provoking inputs. I would also like to extend my heartfelt thanks to our Honorable Chairman Sir and Vice Chairperson Reema Tandan Ma'am for providing best of the infrastructure for quality education and always being open and supportive to introduce innovations to meet the changing need of the society for the larger benefit of the students. Thank you, sir and ma'am. I would also like to thank Director General Dr. H. P. Gurg, sir, for his valuable inputs time and again towards the quality upliftment of the institute. Thanks to all the heads of departments, chief coordinators, class coordinators, cultural co coordinators and student volunteers for making this event a grand success. Once again, we wish you all great success in your career path. There is a pro proverb that teachers open the door, but you must enter by yourself. We are always there to guide you, mentor you and support you towards your career. Good day. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your wonderful words. It will definitely help us all in the future. Now, I would like to take the opportunity to welcome Professor Dr. H.P. Gard, Director General Tips, to kindly share his thoughts. Dear students, I welcome you all for joining Trinity Institute of Professional Studies, Dwarka, which is one considered to be one of the best professional college affiliated to Guru Govind Singh in the Pasi University of Delhi. You might be knowing that this institute TIPS has been ranked as A plus grade by SRFC Government of India. NAC has also accredited as B plus plus grade institute. This institute is also awarded as A grade by JET team of Guru Govind Singh in the Pasi University. This is also awarded as Best Professional Degree College in Delhi and NCR in 2019. Several innovations and innovative schemes have been added for the benefit of the students of this uh, college. Like, there is a very effective career counseling and placement center in the institute. There is a mentoring service available at the institute for weaker students and which also helps the weaker students for the placement, their personal problems, and we try to solve them. The faculty is very well qualified. There is a automatic, automated, well-equipped and all-inclusive library facilities, specialized regular lectures by specialists, authorities, other guests from outside, then extracurricular activities are also there and inter-college events are being held in the institute itself. Evaluation of teacher performance is done on a regular basis. Then there is a value-based education system. Then international study tours and education tours on demands are being done here in the institute. 
and initial pre-placement activities and almost 100% placement assistance is also provided. The institute is having uh, a modern infrastructure, high-speed escalators are there, Wi-Fi campus, air-conditioned building, 200 kVA generator, RO system, indoor sports facilities, medical room, CCTV cameras, and modern cafeteria is also available. I will say because of my very large experience at IIT Delhi and being principal secretary in government of Madhya Pradesh, that if you are to achieve excellence, as a student, then you have to have creative thinking. You should have a vision, then versatility, versatility. You have to be sensitive, focus, and, and patience also. I can assure that as you perhaps might be knowing, a good college will give a strong foundation. Personality, lifestyle, etc. If college is very good, while a good course which perhaps you have chosen very uh, carefully, will give you long-term career benefits. So both are important, the course which you have chosen already, but uh, the college uh, which you have chosen now will make your strong foundation. As a serious student, you should try to develop multi-dimensional intelligence consisting of cognitive intelligence, emotional intelligence, social intelligence, moral intelligence, innovative intelligence, and spiritual intelligence. At the end, I would definitely like to wish you all the best for joining one of the best institute in Delhi and NCR region. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for sharing your wise thoughts with us. Now, it is time to share with you a glimpse of TIPS campus through a virtual tour of the college. Trinity Institute of Professional Studies was established in the year 2007 and since then it has been promoting quality education and fostering academic excellence. Courses offered at Trinity are BBA, BCA, BA GMC, BCom and BA LLB. The BGMC department has a well-equipped video studio and production controlled room with teleprompter, different types of lights, audio and video switcher, and HD still and video cameras. The institute also has a fully air-conditioned audio studio for audio recording and for radio journalism with talkback system, Yamaha speakers and Yamaha audio console and various recording equipments. In the post-production lab, Budding editors can access Apple iMac machines with FCP and Adobe CC professional softwares. The library at TIPS is a comfortable getaway from the noise and hustle of the campus for students and faculty members alike. TIPS has three well-equipped computer labs with 175 computers with the latest and updated softwares like Adobe Family, InDesign and C++, Visual Studio, Java, Oracle and Tally 9.0. The Department of Law is equipped with a moot code. It is used exclusively by law students for mooting practice and to conduct moot code skills development workshop. The Institute organizes TIPS eminent lecture series with esteemed speakers like Mr. Vikramjeet Banerjee, Senior Advocate and Additional Solicitor Journal, Supreme Court of India, Mr. Pradeep Bhakchi, Senior Journalist, The Times of India and Mr. K.J. Suresh, Senior Journalist. The Institute has initiated celebrity talk series from last year for students to interact with experts in the field of filmmaking and media communication skills. Recently, Ms. Flora Seni and Ms. Lela Panda were in the campus. Various workshops, life skill sessions, counseling sessions, alumni interactions, eminent lecture series, value added course, industry visits, seminars, and conferences are being conducted on a regular basis to provide practical exposure to students and to reduce the industry academia gap. The college organizes various sports events such as cricket matches at IIT, powerlifting competition and tips creda. There is also a dedicated placement cell equipped with state-of-the-art infrastructure which conducts placement drives at regular intervals with reputed multinational companies. 
Moreover, events such as convocation, the degree distribution ceremony, national conference and Alveda farewell for seniors, transduction for the fresher students and Unmid the college fest are also held to promote a healthy and inclusive culture environment. Welcome to the world of excellence. So this was a short glimpse of our college and I hope the campus tour video definitely did leave you excited. It is my pleasure to now invite Mrs. Reema Tandon, Vice Chairperson Tips, to share her words of wisdom with us. The best journey of life that you can take is inside yourself to discover new thoughts, new ideas and new hopes. The previous year was filled with challenges, but as each cloud has a silver lining, this new year too brings with it new hopes, new ideas and new aspirations. A very warm welcome to all my dear students who are now a part of the TIPS family. I heartily extend my greetings and wish you the best for the next three years of your glorious journey. Trinity Institute of Professional Studies is a name synonymous with skill, innovation, and proficiency. We at Trinity endeavor to impart professional academic programs in the disciplines of management and commerce, computer applications, law, journalism, and mass communication with the cooperation and mighty support of a team of committed and experienced faculty members. The impeccable and the state-of-the-art infrastructure includes a moot court room, to experience a live glimpse of the judicial process, an audio and video studio, along with a print and post-production studio for the upcoming journalists to exhibit their creativity and bask in the real life experiences, as well as an air-conditioned, fully equipped, high-tech computer centers, a well-decked informative library, and an ultra-modern campus. It's rightly said, blessed are the curious, for they shall have adventures. The coming years of undergraduation, filled with wonder and excitement, promise to provide you cherishing moments where all of you would build and strengthen amicable relations with your peers and teachers, reinforcing your self-belief and confidence. I believe there's a hidden rainbow in every individual waiting to shine. At Trinity, we would provide you a plethora of opportunities in the form of seminars and conferences, graced with the presence of renowned personalities from different walks of life. You can be assured to witness and enlighten yourself with the inspiring vision of industry experts who would assist to boost your knowledge of the intricacies of the professional world and prepare you to be a part of it. The Qualified and Accomplished Placement Committee comprising faculty members from each discipline, aware of the tricks of the trade, ensure secure and efficient placements in the best organizations, corporate houses, and play an integral role in generating future entrepreneurs. The ambience of the campus infused with the exuberance of inter-college fests, multiple celebrity talk series, Various social, cultural, and sports events would surely make these approaching years truly memorable for all of you. I would like to apprise you with a motivational thought by our eminent educationist, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. He said, Life and time are the world's best teachers. Life teaches you how to make good use of time, and time teaches you the value of life. These few years of hard work would build a promising future for all of you. A future not just built upon zestful ambitions, but on values and principles. I once again congratulate all of you as you enter this uncertain yet wonderful realm of life. We at Trinity stand with you, for you, and extend our wholehearted cooperation and support for a buoyant journey ahead. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your motivating and kind words. It will definitely guide all of us in the future. 
it now gives me immense honor and privilege to have the opportunity to invite our visionary and honorable chairman, Dr. R. K. Tandon, under whose guidance we have got all the moments and opportunities to nourish our academic and intellectual growth. So kindly take the dais. Hello, everyone. It is my great pleasure to welcome all the pleasures in the family of Tips Dwarka. I sincerely hope that next few years of your academic journey with Tips Dwarka shall be fruitful, engaging, and memorable. I assure you students that the TIPS campus will be lively, diverse, and warm with each of you. I would also extend my congratulations to the parents of each and every student for their efforts in making you capable enough to get yourself enrolled in the respected institution. Dear all, it is important to mention here that we have fully air-conditioned, state-of-the-art infrastructure and incredibly talented faculty. Dear students, next few years would be very important in your life to set up base in your personality to become an excellent professional. At TIPS, we are committed to impart quality education in the field of management, journalism, law, computer applications, and commerce. Dear students, I am very optimistic that our guidance and your hard work will bring magical changes in your life to come. Dear all, Trinity Institute was established in 2001 in Vikaspuri and later on in 2007 it was shifted to Dwarka. I can say that your institution has experience of 19 years to run higher education. Dear students, Tips Dwarka comes under the aegis of Kamal Educational and Welfare Society, which has experience of 50 years in the field of school education and higher education. The group was established by late Shri O. P. Tandanji and Mrs. Kamal Rani Tandanji. At present, the group has three IP affiliated colleges and half a dozen schools running in West, Southwest Delhi, and NCR. On behalf of long legacy in the field of school education and higher education, I can once again assure each one of you that you are in safe hands. With this, I wish you all the very best for your future endeavors and healthy journey with Tips Dwarka. Thank you for listening me. Jai Hind! Thank you, sir, for your inspiring and enlightening words. Moving ahead, it is now time to give due recognition to the student with outstanding academic excellence. And therefore, with immense pride, I would like to congratulate Prachi Negi, BAJMC, first year student for achieving her meritorious scholarship. Celebration happens 
when the mind unites with the spirit and it comes when the common features of life are redeemed. With this beautiful quote, we have something exciting for everyone to make this digital experience memorable. So I therefore present to you a performance by Gurdayal Kaur. मुंडे मेरे पिछे तेरे पिछे आना मैं लाल सुर तेन अपना बना मैं घर च बिठा के तेन गेड़ा लाना मैं कुड़िया न बैठ आई कल करके गल सची ना तेरी बनी पी देखता सही तू जटा गल करके गल सची ना तेरी बनी पी देखता सही तू जटा गल करके We now present to you the department video of B A L L B. Some trusts are earned. The equality is before everything. Nothing is emotional, but in facts and figures, they follow the laid-down rules. They mean more than just a profession. They mean hope. May justice can be delayed, but never undelivered. Nurturing the society with their work. Shashi Bala, head of department law tips to kindly shed light and guide her students. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Swati. I am audible. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So good morning, everyone. Respected chairman, sir, vice chairman, director, chairs, and the dignitaries present over here. First of all, I welcome all the participants present here, and an our special guest of the day, Mr. Raghav Sabarwal, Assistant Advocate General, Supreme Court of India, who accept our invitation to be the part of the orientation program. Orientation is a time to start conversation. Conversation on what? To stay here is what is to be like. on seeking admission at tips you have entered into the universe of law as a ba llb students as today we are facing the covid 19 pandemic situation and there is a sudden shift from face to face teaching methodology to online delivery mechanism we had made all possible efforts and timely strategic initiatives and because of those efforts we are able to cope up with the covid 19 situations i am happy to share that tips is now more strong with its innovative strategic initiatives to convert which we have done it before in the previous semester so now i am sharing the ppt presentation with you which will make you wonder, understand where we stand tips is a plus grade institution so always feel proud to be the product of the tips so as far as the bllb course is concerned the objective of the course is to enable the students to gain an understanding of basic legal concepts and legal institutions and of the historical social political and economic factors influencing their development the students will gain knowledge and develop advocacy skill which will help them in achieving their goals and objective and serve the society so in the first year you will get opportunity of learning so many subjects of interdisciplinary law which they will develop the dominating dominatory kind of the outlook so the first semester subjects are there that is the legal as well as the other humanities or social sciences subject as you see the legal matter law of contract legal english history sociology and comprehensive viva then law of contract law of torts history sociology and pol science in every semester there will be a comprehensive viva of the 100 marks 
so as far as this thing is concerned for the evaluation purpose because as we see that there is a grading grading system so you have to achieve the credit sorry credit system is there so you have to at least get the 28 credit to save the year back policy year back if you are not able to get in the 10 semester it may uh, 28 credit then there will be a year back and as far as the evaluation system is concerned there will be 75 marks of the external examination is there that will be conducted by the ip university then 25 internal assessment is there which will contain the 10 marks for the internal examination and 5 is for the assignment the 5 is for the attendance and 5 is for the psd activities which is mandatory to be conduct, uh, conducted and you have to submit the timely assignment because assignment topics has already uh, to be given in the starting of the semester which has to be submitted the date is provided by the concerned faculty besides that because uh, nowadays though it is uh, it is a pandemic situations but in spite of that 75% attendance is mandatory then when you the college will resume then the, you have to wear the uniform for the two three days that is a monday wednesday and the friday and after the end of the year that is the after completion of the two semester then there is a internship to be carried out by the students which will be on the basis of that in the fifth semester there will be internal evaluation then teaching pedagogy is there whatever we are adopting that is a moot court session mock trials quiz flip classes mun seminar workshop personality development lecture method whenever the physical class is resume then the lecture method will be there case analysis is also there then the code visit is there as far as the ruses online delivery system is there of the lectures then there the certain duties lies on you as well then the collaborative learning is there then positive attitude maybe sometime the lack of the internet or something is there technical glitch are there so for the effective listening is important for you and as well as the active participation without creating a disturbance to the other students besides that we provide you the mentor mentee support in the in the college means a mentor is allotted to you so if any problem you are facing during the class or after the class then you can speak to the mentor and the mentor will support you to develop your soft and the other life skills then if any issue is there if it uh, not resolved by talking then you can mail to the mentor or the your concerned class coordinator besides that other activities that is to be conducted now that is a moot court competition uh, as the physical is not possible so online moot court competition is there group discussions mock interview beside that legal literacy camp debate competition youth parliament quiz debate etc there are the faculty members uh, that is beside me that is a miss richa tyagi mr abhishek sharma miss rashima miss akshita gupta miss sonakshi kashyap and miss chahat abrol Besides, when you will uh, resume the college, then the have the AC classrooms with advanced podium is there, moot court hall is there where the moot court skill uh, can be developed by participation in the moot court programs. A very rich library with the computer lab is there for your per user. Then the tips legal aid clinic is there, which is established in the 2018 because we are only in the third year. Then the four societies are there. the identity legal aid society the motto is making the case for the humanities and providing justice for all then moot court society is there environmental law center is also established this year then debate society is there to enhance the debating skill of the society all the activities are conducted by the law department in the last years that is the eminent lecture series that was started workshop and seminars drafting session is also there to enhance your drafting skill moot court session was also there physical as well as online debate competitions are there workshop on youth parliament was so also conducted then visit to the courts and the lok adalats also facilitated to the uh, students paralegal volunteer training is also provided in the college because the tips is always work with the in the collaboration of the southwest dlsa 
then webinars are, after the covid situations are there and lockdown is there so we have started in place of the seminar the webinars has to be organized quiz competitions are organized live skill sessions are also organized ICT workshop, then legal awareness campaign. It was the Environment Law Center that was or uh, inaugurated in 2020. It was the first virtual intra moot court competition was organized. Online awareness campaign on the International Week of the Deaf. Debate competition was also organized on the morality of the media trial. Then extend. The, this campaign was also started by the students that online suicide prevention awareness campaign then because the ultimate aim of the students is to be the judge so the tips also organize a webinar how to crack the judiciary so that is the reason the students achievement in the last year that is the 103 students are the certified paralegal volunteers 100 students participated in the seminar conference and webinars Three students make the presentation of a paper in the seminar and the, as well as in the conference. 22 students participate in the MUN and 35 students take part in the training program on the art or the advocacy. So let's again welcome you to be the part of the Trinity family and the other special activities, whatever is to be the conducted over here. So once again, I welcome you all and congratulating to you to be the part of the Tim's family for the best of your new journey in the field of the law. Thank you. Over to you, Swati ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for your guidance. It is now time to invite our guest of honor, Mr. Raghav Sabarwal, Assistant Advocate General, Supreme Court of India. Mr. Raghav's core area of practice is dispute resolution. He has advised domestic and international clients regarding civil and criminal disputes. He has gathered considerable experience and expertise in handling litigation in different arenas of corporate and commercial disputes, arbitrations, criminal complaints, and writs under the Constitution of India. Mr. Raga has also represented various major corporates, government departments, and financial institutions. His role has been instrumental in drafting of pleadings, legal opinions, and has also appeared before various courts and tribunals. It is a pleasure to welcome you, sir. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Respected Dr. R.K. Tandon, Chairman. Mrs. Reema Tandon, Vice Chairperson, Dr. H. P. Garg, Director General, Dr. Barkha Behel, Director, Dr. Shashi Bala, Principal Department of Law, other faculty members, distinguished guests, and my dear students. Orientations are occasions to initiate conversation on how your life is going to be in the coming years. The students here who have opted for BALLB program, this is your entry to the universe of law. As you are aware, universe comprises of planets, stars, galaxies, and all other forms of matter and energy. Similarly, the diversity in the universe of law is unfathomable. Almost every sphere of life is touched by law. Let's test this through illustrations. Let's discuss some of the recent hot news items and current affairs. To start with, farmers protest against new farm laws. It contains laws. Three new farming acts, including the amendment of the Essential Commodities Act. There is Central Vista project, which has been in news. And we all know that a nod has been given by the Supreme Court. It also includes environmental laws, regulatory laws, clearances. There have been very recent hot issues regarding arrest of famous journalists, constitutional rights, rights of freedom of speech, 
right of personal liberty we all know that there have been various uh, inquiries and investigations into celebrities indulging in consumption and trafficking of drugs there is ndps act so any sphere of life news current affairs that you would see has law in it the list is endless and so is the universe of law george bernard shaw once said life isn't about finding yourself life is about creating yourself in this universe of law you have to create your own trajectory i can assure you that the field of law offers myriads of options there are a number of opportunities available to all the students who are attending this orientation today after they would be completing their llb program you can join a law firm as an associate you can be a legal officer in a multinational company you can work as a legal advisor for an organization or other establishments you can practice as an advocate in the court of law be a litigator you can join a government organization in the legal departments you can join banks there are options of joining the judiciary a very new inquisitive option of legal journalism is also available there are legal process outsourcing firms these days so the opportunities are endless the indian legal sector has been seen a sudden boom in the past decade more than 20 new national law universities have emerged in less than a decade and there were more than 1200 law colleges including state university affiliated colleges and private colleges and universities which have come up this definitely substantiates the importance of law in our society and how as a field and as a course the importance of the law course has increased mm -hmm. over time in this cutthroat competition uh although this is your orientation but i would like to give you a few tips for how to climb climb the ladder of success first of all know your facts really well even when you present a case in the court of law until and unless you know your facts you can't sail through so inculcate a habit of reading news and updates on latest blogs be updated with the current affairs and keep yourself updated of indian and global economic space the second mantra is time management you all must inculcate the habit of maintaining a time sheet when you will become mature professionals and enter into the legal field you will realize how important it is to value the time because all the lawyers charge by the hour so 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 the meter is running and the sooner you realize how to manage your time the better utilize your time in the law school in doing internships even though i believe internship would be a mandatory uh, uh, part of the syllabus uh, of the curriculum in in one of the semesters i would suggest that start doing internships from the very first day your practical exposure that you get in internships is is really important for your legal career participate in the co curricular activities your college offers um, amazing moot court halls there are moot court competitions intra college competitions there are mediation competitions client counseling competitions make it a habit to participate in all these competitions for an overall development of the personality read law blogs to be updated with the latest judgments we are now privileged to have uh, the technology with us we have blogs like live law and barn bench which which give us um, updates on judgments that are passed the very same day so it is really important for all of us to be updated and last but not the least be confident your personality speaks for you so there is no substitute for confidence and i would that this would be the main mantra of success there are various other courses also that can be pursued after completing llb which are helpful to your career choices such as you can do certificate courses in cyber laws diploma in cooperative law administrative law cooperative laws in management adr is really coming up the alternate dispute resolution mechanism 
the diplomas and certificate courses in mediations, environmental laws, intellectual property rights, labor laws, etc. The, the list is endless. You could also go for LLM subsequently, or even do a PG diploma or a PhD in law. As Dr. Shashibala rightly said that the law schools are shifting from pedagogical approach to andragogical methods focused on gaining experience and self-actualization where students are motivated by their own innate need to learn and the pursuit for recognition instead of relying on the instructions of the teacher. Further, the integration of technology and experiential learning are changing the focus towards student learning. Today's lawyers are required by the clients, both individuals and corporates, not only to be tech savvy and prompt, but also to represent them in all jurisdictions and forums. Globally, law schools are laying more emphasis on incorporating technology. I saw in the presentation that your college also has computer labs and you have access to all the technological needs that the college can provide. I would now briefly like to share how there is a transformation in the legal field because of technology. Legal education in India is also evolving. Today, we all are in the digital area and there is indeed a silver lining to the pandemic that we all are facing. The courts have started working seamlessly through virtual conferencing methods. I have been attending hearings since the inception of the lockdown through VC hearings. And in fact, it is more convenient and a very, very effective way to give your case to the court. There have been e-filings where you have the convenience of doing filings in the court by sitting at your residence or your office. Courts sooner or later will go paperless and there are online dispute resolution mechanisms as well. Therefore, students, it's important that you also adapt yourself to the growing technological needs of this field. If you believe your law degree will help you in any of the endeavors, it surely will. However, you will have to create yourself enough for the same. If you have a great idea to start your business, then develop it further by understanding the laws behind it. Startups, how to go about it. If you want to become a legal journalist, start writing articles now. If you want to become policy analyst, then intern at the right place. If you want to get into banking industry, enhance your knowledge in the field. Read the Financial Times, read the Economic Times. If you want to become a legal blogger, start writing now. Develop yourself. Speak to as many people as you can. Take up additional courses, diploma certificates to enhance your skills and knowledge to become successful. However, remember to be brave and dream big. Aim for the stars, for even if you fall short, you will still land at moon. I would like to conclude with the famous lines of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, dream big because dreaming small is a crime in itself. I wish your journey through law school transforms each one of you from inquisitive learners to mature professionals. All the best, each one of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for such an insightful and motivational speech, which has definitely enhanced our knowledge. Now, it is time to welcome you all with warm greetings from your seniors. Hi everybody, this is Prerna Tyagi from the Law Department, greeting all the freshers with a warm welcome. I am thrilled that you all will be joining us as our juniors. Uh, two years ago, I was also sitting there thinking, "Kaisa college hoga? Kaise log honge?" Uh, the answer to all these questions is just relax. 
you will experience a roller coaster of mixed feelings fun um learning success and what not i would also uh, like you all to uh, to be a little enthusiastic and participative towards the events that will be coming and welcome you all again to the small and beautiful family which we have uh, with love of course and best wishes to the newest member getting to know you all thank you and best of luck hey guys i hope you all are doing good and being safe in this pandemic i am your senior karan khurana and i happily welcome you all on behalf of the entire law department when we first came around we met a bunch of new people made a bunch of new friends and learned a lot from our faculties we have had a lot of different kinds of experiences but it all comes down to one thing that the journey that you are starting right now your college life is going to be a big part of the personality that you are going to be in the coming 5 years we the seniors and the faculty members will make sure that you go through this important journey gracefully and have fun too thank you now i present before you the various societies of the law department of tips where you will find numerous opportunities to explore harness and enhance your various professional skills i would like to invite the student convener of the legal aid society the state shall secure that the operation of legal system promotes justice on the basis of equal opportunity and shall in particular provide free legal aid by suitable legislation or schemes or in any other way to ensure that the opportunities for securing justice are not denied to any citizen by reason of economic or other disabilities says the article 39a of the constitution of india good morning everyone my name is nikita arora an executive member of trinity legal aid society i'm here today to talk to you about the trinity legal aid society which was inaugurated on 22nd september 2018 under the guidance of dr harshita harshu currently we have mrs richa kukreja as a faculty convener and mr abhishek sharma as a faculty co convener the trinity legal aid society consists of two student conveners ambika sharma and devan singh with 18 executive members and we are looking forward to expand our society a society seeks to ensure dissemination of justice equally among all the sections of the society to this end it will seek to promote free legal aid so that those who may be at the disadvantage end are able to access courts and justice on equal terms it is for promotion of equal access to justice that the law school in india have been endowed with the mandate to open run the legal aid cell trinity legal aid society not only serves the society but also provides students with innumerable opportunities to hone their skill in law inform them about the challenges in the profession and give them opportunity to serve people who are in the most dire need of their knowledge and skills there were numerous events held in the trinity legal aid society in past 3 years the highlights for the same are first we inaugurated our trinity legal aid society it was inaugurated by the esteemed guest justice swatantra kumar retired former judge supreme court of india former chairman national green tribunal in presence of dr vijay kumar dehia special judge cbi pc act dwarka then we conducted many workshops on legal aid and access to justice sessions on gender equality and also on sexual harassment of women at workplace we also went to dwarka district court to attend lok adalat we also conducted awareness campaign for children at mcd primary school tilaknagar also the two day paralegal training for the students of the department of law in collaboration with dnsa which imparted the students with the knowledge of various laws and regulations the session were taken by district judges and session judges and the secretaries of the respective districts we have now 103 certified paralegal volunteers with us we have conducted surveys in different slum regions for getting insights about the issues that the people are facing we try to serve in the covid-19 situation by conducting webinars regarding law and healthcare issues during covid-19 and also for the elimination of violence for women 
then conduct then we conducted online campaign on world suicide prevention day and international week of death on our various social media platforms recently we did an online extempore competition on the occasion of international day of democracy and hindi divas and a quiz competition on the occasion of the national law day so if you wish to contribute to the society and would like to join us then kindly fill up the form we are sharing the registration li registration link via chat box hoping to work with you all thank you thank you moving on with the second society i would like to call upon the student convener of the mood coach society hello am i audible am i audible yes you are, yes, you are. Yeah. all right an ideal society is the one which aims towards forming a good legal count advocacy is one of the most difficult task but one of the most useful one with this vision trinity mood court society was established in the year 2018 primarily mood is the most trial of how the legal proceedings take place in the court it is always regarded as a beginner's guide if you love challenges and arguments then you can also develop a love for mooting during it the life during your life in law school if you have decided upon advocacy as your career then mooting can be a great beginning beginning for your dream in this two years of society we have conducted various sessions with eminent lawyers the society was inaugurated by justice patantra kumar retired judge of supreme court of india who enlightened us about the actual functioning of judiciary another session on advocacy skills was conducted by mr tarik advocate principal of society advani and company where he helped us improve our speaking and writing skills and provided us with a sample memorial which could help us develop better skills for further competition trinity mood court society will has for students in competing in various mood court competitions throughout the country various intra college various intra colleges competitions are being organized by the mood court society for the betterment of the better learning of the students one such competition was the first step, first virtual intra mood court competition 2020 organized in the month of september during the pandemic which brought a great enthusiasm among the students all the teams were formed with a great deal all the participants as well as audience got the got to learn a lot from this competition the virtual mood court competition came out to be a great success and this is only possible with the combined efforts of the students and the continuous guidance of the faculty members it is to be noted that in order to take part in the national mood court competitions it is mandatory to be a part of mood court society if you wish to join the same you need to fill a form for which which the link for the same will be plotted in the chat box and in your official groups post which an interview shall be conducted for the selection we hope to see many new faces with us soon thank you we would now like to introduce you to the next society that is the environmental law center good morning to all the esteemed guests and all the juniors i hope every one of us is doing great i hope every one of us is doing great i am karan khurana one of the two student conveners of elc and most importantly a law student today i am here to tell you all about the eco club of our college the environmental law center the environmental law center was made to achieve the sustainable development goals set by the united nations in their agenda 2030 which was made to deal with the humanity's biggest problems in the modern world and our club chooses to work upon issue like poverty a issue that has been bothering people a lot and people are suffering a lot because of it gender equality a issue that has all been always been resolved partially and climate action we all know that climate change has never been a bigger problem than it is now and the list goes on and on so if you choose to work with us these are the kind of problems we are going to work upon together and a club chooses to approach these problems by using the best tool in hand the law our society was inaugurated on 27th of august 2020 and currently consists of six members including me the issues that we are going to work upon hold great importance 
and all of us are from the very first batch of the law course of our college which is why we have been part of all kinds of competitions and events being a part of our club means that you are in for a lot of experience goodness and fun and at last but not least i'll say that the tagline of our club is seeing greener side of things and i hope you all will see it with us the the forms for joining our club will be floated soon and i hope to see you all there thank you thank you last but not the least i would like to invite the student convener of the b the debating society of tips yeah good afternoon good, good morning everyone i devang shrotriya on behalf of the b the debating society of tips carrying all the gumption to introduce our society to you all apart from me there are two more student conveners namely ms varuna sharma and ms disha dagar assured by our faculty convener ms richa tyagi a copy book society and debate are always bad fellows and as talking about a democracy debate and discourse are bedrock of it the beat is the bilingual debating society of trinity institute of professional studies it was established exclusively under department of law in 2019 The beat is a mythological word that means a warrior. The beat organizes annual parliamentary debates, model United Nations, various quiz and debate competitions in the college throughout the year. Each debate sees participants deliver thought-provoking speeches and try their hands in in winning the cash prizes. It provides members a platform to come together and understand the world by engage. with diverse perspectives on various social issues members of the society participate in various national level debating tournaments held across the country and win laurels at the same the beat trains the students over huge spectrum of topics which includes politics education feminism the prison system international relations etc we also work on enhancing their personality and develop soft skills so here in the beat we provide you the elbow room to work on your oratory skills as unlike all other arts it's not a quality to express or prove but to influence with the mission of promoting a culture of debating in its immediate environs and beyond and we envision a world where debate programs foster each communication collaboration critical thinking and creative skills love to wear, work with all the enthusiastic students in future we will roll out the audition form soon soon thank you very much thank you now let us explore the larger picture of trinity institute of professional study where there is another world is your hidden talents presenting to you the dance society of tips zox Hi guys my name is Ankit and I am the head of the street dance society of Trinity Institute of Professional Studies that is Zox Zox stands for Zone of Rhythmic Killers Zox was established in 2010 by Shrey Khanna and his team Shrey Khanna is a well known Bollywood choreographer who has choreographed many songs like Bakhra Nakhra He has also co-founded a group named the MJ5 He also participated in Showtime at Apollo in New York with his group named Team Shrekhana. Zox is the street dance society of Tips. In street dance, there are different type of dance styles that are like hip hop, popping, breaking, locking, etc., which are being taught to the new members every year through team seniors or choreographers. Our college has also supported us a lot. They have even provided us with the choreographers. Whenever Zox has been participating, it has always made the college proud. This year faculty head of Zox is Dr. Tanika Bhankar. Zox have also achieved many prizes and positions over the years which includes winner of Best Pilani 2016 and winner of Anubhunsh 2016. And recently Zox have also achieved second position in Anubhunsh Prelims 2020. So next year we are going to do even better and we are excited to meet the new members we will be having in our team. Thank you.
without drama, there's no entertainment in life. So moving ahead with the next society, you have Shorya, the dramatic society of tips. Greetings to all. I am Shama, the PR head of Shara Dramatic Society. Shara is the official dramatic society of Trinity Institute of Professional Studies. It is a performing arts society that utilizes the power of art to spread awareness upon social issues and various social crises. <laughs> Shore was formed in 2010 by Renan Shokin and the idea of forming a theatre society was wholeheartedly welcomed by our institution. Currently, Shore is working under the in-chargeship of Assistant Professor Mr. Tapanshu Kaur. Till now, Shore has showcased more than 600 performances within Delhi NCR and outside Delhi as well. We have been fortunate enough to receive a lot of achievements, applauds and laurels throughout the Delhi Collegiate Theatre Circuit. None of these would have been possible without the constant support of our institution. Trinity. Not only this, Trinity has also given us the liberty to nurture and excel theatre on professional front by permitting us for various workshops and working with multiple theatre groups. Every year, Shorya organizes a street play event called Nutpan, which is only successful due to the constant coordination and support of our college. With this message, we, Shara, would like to welcome you all at Trinity and encourage you all to join Shorya. The next society is Udyumi, the only Hello everyone, my name is Harsh and I am a student of Trinity Institute of IPU. Apart from that, I am a proud member of Odhyami Society which is the e-cell of our college. At Odhyami, we are headed by Dr. Vandana Malviya who is the faculty in charge along with Piyush Kharbanda, a student from BCA third year as the president of our society. At Odhyami, we organize numerous events within our college, such as internship fairs, placement drives, workshops, quiz competitions, and so on. We also help in placements. Recently, companies like Wipro, Amazon, IBM, and British Telecom visited our campus and offered placements to our students, in which the volunteers of Odhyami ensured that the selection process goes smoothly. We would like to thank the management of our institution for their constant support in our workings and for their initiatives towards installing an incubation centre last year which was intended for mentoring the budding entrepreneurs. At Udyami, we believe in and also promote individual and personal development. For example, I, Harsh Soranki, visited IIT Kharagpur in the capacity of a campus ambassador to attend the 61st edition of the Spring Fest. Also, our president, Yush Kharbanda, participated in national level social business plan competition where he stood first and made the society and the college proud. Thank you. Capturing memories is an art and to tell you more about that, we have the photography and videography society of tips that is frames. Greetings to everyone. I am the Pancho Sagal from BGMC 6th semester. I am the co-head of Frames, the official filmmaking and photography society of Tips Dwarka. 
Friends was formed in 2015 by 2014-15 batch under the supervision of Assistant Professor Mr. Ajay Kumar. Since last five years, Frames is representing tips in various national and inter-college events and competitions like 60R Challenge, Mood Indigo, Bits Pilani, etc. Constant support of our college and its management allow us to organize different theme for the walks, mentor workshops, and even allow us to produce our own short films. As a member of Frames and final year student, I would like to request every camera and film enthusiast to be a part of Frames and follow their dreams and shine with them. Lastly, we have Elysian, the music and singing society of tips that will surely make you dance on their tunes. Hey guys, this is Vani from Elysian, the official music society of Trinity Institute of Professional Studies, Dwarka. Our society was founded by Vishal Pandey and Akhil George in the year 2015. We have participated in various events and competitions and have won many of them. One of them being Pilani, our society's band an individual have secured first and second position. In IP University's own fest, a Western Group Society secured first position as well. Every year, our music society aims to passionately participate in several competitions and perform for our college events. Our main goal is not only to focus on participation, but also help individuals grow and improve their skills and join our music society and showcase your talent and grow as a musician. Lastly, we have Swami Vivekananda Seva Shakha of BVP, the Social Welfare Society of TIPS. Opportunity to thank Swami, Swami Vivekanand Sevar Shaka of Bharat Vikas Parishad is Social Welfare Society of Tips Dwarka. The vision of Swami Vivekanand Sevar Shaka of BVP is development and growth of Bharat in all human endeavors that is cultural, social, moral, and spiritual, culminating in Swast, Samvar, and Sanskrit Bharat that is physically, economically, and morally strong India. The mission is to organize elite intellectuals and well-to-do poor illiterate and ignorant brethren not as an act of charity but in the true spirit of a cultural tradition as a duty the action plan for implementation of bharat's policies and programs is executed through five sutras sampark that is fellowship sanyog that is corporation sanskar moral orientation Seva, service, sampan, commitment. At Swami Vekanand Seva Shaka of BVP, the team works dedicatedly to bring a change. So far, we had a great journey from organizing blood donation camps to visiting NGOs and organizing yoga sessions in this lockdown. Besides this, we have been helping hand to those whom we could reach. And yes, we will carry this forward too. After this, we came across uh, issues like drug addiction and alcohol consumption. So we decided to organize a seminar to educate students about this. In fact, TIPS have recently tied up with NSS, that is National Service Scheme, uh, conducted by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports Government of India. It will not only develop leadership qualities, but will also encourage selfless social service. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Trinity Institute of Professional Studies and to all the staff members who have been so supportive throughout the journey. Thank you.
I hope all the videos by the heads of the respective societies motivated you to showcase your creative talents as well. It seems to be a great honor to propose the vote of thanks to all those who helped us in making this orientation program a great success. I would like to thank Dr. R.K. Tundin, Chairman, and Mrs. Reema Tundin, Vice Chairman, for providing us the opportunity of education, Dr. Barka Behel, Director, for her immense support, Dr. H.P. Garg, Director, Department Law Tips. And also a special thanks to our guest of honor, Mr. Raghav Sabarwal, Assistant Advocate General, Supreme Court of India, for taking out his time, agreeing to be a part of this orientation program, and also for sharing his immense knowledge. I would like to thank Dr. Mukta, Ms. Sonia Arora, Mr. Tapanchu, Mr. Ajay, Mr. Sahil, Mr. Mushraf, and Ms. Richa, and also the entire faculty of the Law Department. I would further like to thank all the society heads and volunteers for their assistance. Finally, I take the one, I thank the wonderful students who have turned up in such great numbers, and we welcome you again to the Trinity Institute of Professional Studies.